Hello friends, in this session we will be going over the useful Cinder backup service. So when if you want to backup your virtual machines, OpenStack virtual machines to a remote uh, machine via NFS, the Cinder backup service is very useful. So we will be going through the installation steps and configuration steps necessary to uh, activate the Cinder backup service. When you do a fresh installation, the Cinder backup service is not activated. But on this installation, it is activated. But we have another node where we'll be going through the steps of activating the Cinder backup service. First, the Cinder backup service needs to be activated on the controller node. So what we have here is the controller node and we have the sender services and other controller services running here. And uh, where we want to store the backups is on the NFS server. So we have our storage server where we have exported a NFS mount to be accessible by our controller machines subnet. And be careful, you have to use these options, otherwise Cinder won't be able to backup efficiently. Uh, a certain problem comes in setting up the permissions of the backups and the backup will error out otherwise. Going, coming back to our controller node, uh, so if we go to our Cinder configuration, which is an etc cinder cinder.conf and so these are the two lines which need to be enabled in for the backup services to start working one is the backup driver be careful uh, there you have to use the exact driver there are other similar drivers uh, with slightly different names which will not work so it has to be cinder.backup.drivers.nfs.nfs backup driver and then you specify the backup share which we created on the nfs server this one and this we have specified here this is the ip address of the storage node and this is the NFS mode point. To activate or start the Cinder backup service, you have to run this command service openstack hyphen cinder hyphen backup dot service restart. This is for CentOS um, installations, it might be different for Ubuntu installations. Once this service is started, you can check the status of the service. It is active and running. Okay, now let's uh, uh, let's go to the part where we create the actual ba backups. So you will not uh, need to load the key file, and then you can run openstack volume list command to get a list of all the volumes available. And let's say we need to create a backup of this particular volume so the command to do that will be openstack volume backup create and then the volume name you can check the status of the backups with this command So you will say, uh, you still see the status that it's creating this particular backup. After a certain time when all the files and the snapshot has been transferred over to the NFS backup storage server, then it will be available as, um, the, with the status available. So let's go over to the storage node and see uh, whether the volumes are getting created there or not. So we will go to the NFS mount 
and here you will see these numerical folders and if you say du minus h you will see that it's currently 1.3 gig and you'll see the size increasing until the entire snapshot has been backed up and after a short while it will be in the status available so that's how you basically create a backup